Good afternoon, Facebook Live, and welcome to this special Food for Thought, starring my mum. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so this is my mum, Aileen, um, who, as I've been posting earlier, has lost nine pounds in the last five days. And she doesn't know she's been doing it, but she's been doing something called Keto Vore, which is basically I've lost... 15 pounds in the last five days doing something called carnival which is animal based only meals and my mum has been sort of doing it but also adding a little bit of treat so there is something called ketovore which is basically doing carnivore but doing a low carb version instead of a no carb version hi Kay hi Nick welcome to the live video so over the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes we're gonna be going through my mum's uh, food what she's eaten we're gonna ask her what has been her favorite thing but most importantly have a look what she's drinking right now she's having a little celebration everybody <laughs> she's having a gin and tonic uh, because she deserves it after losing nine pounds in the last five days so we did the weigh in on tuesday morning uh, and then obviously she's weighed in this morning as well uh, hi denise hi tracy welcome to the live video so first of all before we get going just talking about the the weight loss like i did earlier bearing in mind it has been easter um so me and my mum both had treats this time last week last weekend chocolate uh, she was having hot cross buns. I bought, I bought a hot cross bun cheesecake. <laughs> I bought a gooey egg from Aldi Trifle. So loads and loads of treats. And as loads of you out there did as well. Um, so the reason that I decided to do this hardcore strict keto is because if you can get that holiday festive weight off as fast as you put it on, great. One week, you're feeling great. You've lost your weight. So plow ahead so this is why we are doing such a strict thing uh, and to be honest with you i don't know about you but this time last week i was feeling a little bit sick of chocolate and rich foods and were me. you as well yeah because literally as i said i got the cheesecake i got the trifle yeah. i bought a, a a beautiful egg have you had it out yet no okay maybe we'll go and get that in a minute to show you at the end of the video and she can have a little bit uh welcome donna welcome linda to this special video with my mum so what we're going to do now um so my mum did put on weight at easter guys so we're not going to lie I, i've said that earlier this is not i've lost 15 pounds or nine pounds of fat in the last five days this is what i put on over easter i've lost and a little bit more okay that's the truth and for me, I'd actually lost one pound of fat and my Easter weight as well. So we've got a little list here of uh, my mum's food. So we'll go through them. Um, so Tuesday, we started off nice and strong. My mum made herself bacon and eggs. Um, the bacon was streaky bacon. Do you yeah. like it? Yeah. Did you cook it as well as I did? Yeah. Not crispy. <laughs> I made some yeah, later on in the week crispy. and it was really crispy. It was perfect, wasn't mm. it? Not even I've made it. And I'll tell you why it was so good in a minute. Welcome, Fiona, to the live video. Um, what did you fry your eggs? Yeah. And what did you fry them in? Butter. Okay. So, as always, guys, remember when you are cooking in butter, you need to do it really slowly. Uh, and you are better actually using lard or something that is more heat uh, proof when it comes to cooking in fat. So that was a breakfast on Tuesday. Um, I don't think I had anything for breakfast on Tuesday. For lunch, we then had kippers uh, and they were literally, we'd got in from somewhere and we were both quite hungry. And I said, do you want belly pork or kippers? And she said kippers because they cook faster. So <laughs> so we had uh, kippers and we didn't have them with anything. I don't, did we have them no. with scrambled eggs? No, I think we just had them because I don't know about you or... But they were actually nice, weren't they? Mm. Just on their own. Because as you know, kippers do come with that little weird shape of butter. I did. A I added a little bit more butter as well on top. So it was actually really tasty, wasn't it? Mm. And that was really quick and easy. Also quite cheap, just a quid in most supermarkets for two big kippers. So I would recommend that. A lot of people say, oh yeah, but what about the bones? Now, I know a lot of people can't stomach it. But they're quite thin, aren't they? 
Yeah, there weren't many bones in like normally. So nutritionally it is beneficial if you can actually down them and eat them and swallow them. Mm. But you did, I, I downed quite a few and I didn't really notice. No. It's just the big backbones mm. that basically may get stuck in your throat. But most, most kippers these days, they're, they, they're not containing those. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Margaret. Welcome to our live video. We're just going through what my mum's been eating over the last seven days. Um, and then on Tuesday evening, evening, we had the belly pork slices fresh from the Morrison's butchers. Yeah. They were just so Lovely. bloody amazing. <laughs> so, so... But I don't know about you, but when you bought when you buy pork slices from Aldi, they're, like, quite thin and they're just a set amount. Where Morrison's, it's like, literally, the butcher's got his cleaver and he's just, like, hammering away at the pig. And they're just, like, any shape. They're massive and thick. Um, now, the secret is you've got to cook them really well because you want it crunchy. You want some real good crackling. Mm. Um, and I grilled them, and I grilled them quite a lot, didn't I? I would much prefer to have... Um, crispy, well done crackling and the meat bit a little bit overcooked rather than, um, you know, the meat cooked perfectly and the fat not cooked correctly. So that was a nice finish to day one. Um, can you remember how you were feeling? Yeah, it was all right. There was no uh, bad... No, no bad energy or anything. And as we said, because it had been Easter and we'd been eating so much, um, I would have been eating especially so much bread and rich foods like that and chocolate, it was actually refreshing to have something savoury. Um, and, and the biggest thing that my mum said on the first day was that, oh, I like this because it's small portions. Mm. So I was serving them on a... When she sees my big plates of vegetables, she's like almost gagging and throwing up. She just doesn't like to eat like... I, I admit it is off-putting sometimes. Unless I'm really hungry, it does put me off when I see my massive plates of vegetables. So that was the first day. Okay, second day, uh, we're going slightly upper class. We're having uh, smoked salmon and scrambled eggs. Yeah, uh, this is our this is our favourite anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, perfect, great breakfast. We love it. Um, if um, something can be done just about the price of smoked salmon, that'd be great. We could have that every day then. Um, next, we had some uh, prawns that were just tossed in salt, pepper, and butter. Yeah, can great. you remember them? Yeah. Now I remember them so well because. They just take... Because you never really have prawns on their own. You always have it with Mary Rose sauce and salad. Or you have it in a stir fry with some sort of sauce and salad. And you obviously enjoy the prawns, but you never get that full flavour of eating them all, do you? So no. it was like taste sensation. And again, in my mum's bowl, I literally put a ladle full. So there was hardly any in there. Um, mm. And I'll tell you why there was hardly any in there in a minute. Hello, Andrea. You're saying hi to my mum. Kiss, kiss. Uh, and that's hi. because um, my mum couldn't do the five days on carnivore because she had a family birthday on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, the reason she had those little bits of prawns is because she was having a Domino's pizza. Yes, everybody, I repeat... My mum lost for nine pounds in five days and she had a Domino's pizza on Wednesday. What did you About have? Five slices. Oh, five slices. <laughs> Now, the amazing thing about Domino's, when you look it up under the app, uh, Domino's pizza is actually only 200 to 300 calories per slice. Oh, is it? However, you did have the luxury one. Can you remember what the one that you told me about? Cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> this this one is probably 400, 500 calories per slice because obviously you've got the cheese on there, which is fine. Uh, but then you've also got there the bits of meat and maybe they just throw loads of fat on it as well, just to be like all burger-like. Was it nice? It was though? lovely, yeah. Okay, what were the other two pizzas you had? Um, ham and pineapple. Not bad. You've got At least you've got yeah. a bit of fresh uh, fruit on there. And the other was pepperoni. Pepperoni. So again, quite fatty, but also quite filling. That's the key with, mm. you know, focusing on carnivore and nutrients. The more you can have naturally occurring fat and meat that's going to make you feel full, the more you are going to feel full. Okay. So you'd had one and a half days of eating quite clean. How did you feel after the pizza? Um, I was okay. <laughs> 
stuffed. <laughs> okay, feeling stuffed. So again, you all associate, you know, eating mm. carbs, especially pizza, is stuffed because not only is um, pizza processed carbs, it's like ultra processed carbs. If you if you've ever seen them in Domino's, what they're actually doing, they're throwing around that dough, and obviously it's got loads of rising agents in and chemicals and stuff to keep it the way it looks and make it look pretty and shiny. Um, but you had a good time, which was the most important thing. Uh, I'll just put a little asterisk there. I think you had some cake as well, didn't Chocolate you? Chocolate cake. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's going to be people out there screaming at the camera now. She lost nine pounds and she had pizza and cake. Yeah. Yes, guys, she did have a little bit of chocolate cake. How much did you have? Just a normal... Like that. And it's a good job the, the family birthday was for a 13-year-old or else she would have had some alcohol as well. So I don't think you had any no. alcohol, did you? Great. So thank you very much. So that was Domino's and <laughs> chocolate cake on Wednesday evening. Right, Thursday evening, Thursday morning. Uh, so this is day number three. Did you eat anything? I think you were feeling... Because I, I remember oh. you getting up yeah, you got up and you said to me, um, I don't think I'll have anything this morning. Because I think you were still feeling mm. stuffed, weren't you? So I said, instead of just skipping breakfast altogether, have something about 11 o'clock. So I think it was Thursday morning where you had a couple of boiled eggs a little bit later. Yeah. Then we went out for a walk to uh, Buxton um, and the hunger pain set in. So again... My mum, food-wise, if you think about it, she'd had the carbs the night before. So although initially she didn't feel hungry when she woke up, you then kick in the hunger pains. Because all of a sudden when you've had carbs, you literally just go like ravenous. So I had the idea of going into Waitrose and grabbing a hot chicken. They didn't do hot chickens, but they did do cold chickens. And how did it taste? Oh, amazing. It was bloody... I don't know amazing. why it was so amazing. But a Waitrose whole chicken. Cold. Uh, mm. It was cold, but it was really delicious, wasn't yeah. it? I don't really normally like bre chicken breast, but it, there was something like... It was quite moist, wasn't it? And with the skin on the outside, it was yeah. delicious. And I even got it reduced. It was like three quid. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bargain. So we were sitting in Buxton Town Centre in the sun on Wednesday, just happy as Larry, gnawing on a chicken carcass. And you reckon I didn't give you much, did you? You didn't. You only gave me a leg at first. <laughs> I'm sure I gave a, a bit of breast. But anyway, when we got home... <laughs> When we got home, I warmed the rest of the carcass up and we did eat the rest yeah. of it, didn't we? Which, again, was delicious. Um, so that was about three o'clock and then we got to about five o'clock and I threw in the uh, grill um, four small lamb chops. But amazingly, they were actually quite filling, weren't they? Mm. I got fatty ones on purpose. So that was four lamb chops and that was Thursday. Uh, moving on to Friday. Uh, Friday, I got up early and I made some streaky bacon and eggs. Now, when I gave it to my mum, she said, oh, wow, what's what? how have you cooked these fried eggs? They taste amazing. Mm. And the secret ingredient was Lord. what her mum used to cook in. <laughs> That's what uh, the secret ingredient was. Lard. White lard. I know a lot of you, you hate lard and just the thought of lard, but it tastes so good, guys. So if you can use it sparingly, just a teaspoon, you know, just five grams, ten grams of lard, it really will improve the taste, not only the taste of your food, uh, but it will also in uh, improve the healthiness of your food because it's naturally occurring uh, and also it's unprocessed. Remember that about lard. It's literally dripped from the animal, okay? It's, there's no processing agents in there at all. If you're not a big fan of pigs, then go for beef dripping. Yeah. I bet you love a bit of beef dripping. We used to have it as kids. What did, bread. What did Granny Annie prefer, lard or beef dripping? Lard. Because, you know, nowadays, lard is so cheap and beef dripping is actually quite expensive. Yeah. Back in the day, Probably can you remember? Probably from the butchers anyway. I know, but was one more expensive than the other then or not? Oh, I don't know about things like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting a bit too technical <laughs> yeah. now. Um, and again, you guys are going to literally lard. be screaming at your phones in a minute because 
on Friday, <laughs> I said to, I knew that my my mum was going out, and I knew that when she's out without me, that she's just going to go to the fish and chip shop. A, it's Friday. B, Friday was National Fish and Chip Day. And I said to her, hi, Yvonne. Hi, Katie. Hi, Donna. Welcome to the live video. Uh, and I said to my mum, while you're out, get yourself a fish. Don't have the chips. Just have a fish all to yourself. She caved, but she did only have half a portion, didn't you? Yeah. So it wasn't too bad. So she did have um, half a fish and half a portion of chips. Or did you say a quarter? <laughs> confession time live on facebook um but yeah so she did have half a portion of fish and chips now the reason that i'm not gonna the reason that she she still lost nine pounds and had fish and chips yes we all know it's low quality oil in there but what the advantages of fish and chips is that it's unprocessed carbohydrates. So those potatoes are literally straight from the ground made into chips, which is a positive. Uh, second of all, you've got the nutrients contained in the fish. So after you ate the fish and chips, how did you feel? Did you want more? No. Perfect, okay? Because as we said, fish and chips contain nutrients. So when they go in your body, the receptors in your tongue and then also in your stomach, send messages to your brain to say nutrients has has been received. Tell your mouth to stop eating. We don't need anything else. So this is why fish and chips, if you're going to have a treat, it's a good option because it contains nutrients and it will stop you from overeating. We all know about McDonald's, Domino's, stuff like this. Although physically you feel full, you kind of want more and more. Right, so that was Friday, fish and chips. So we had uh, eggs and bacon in the morning, fish and chips in the evening. Uh, you all know what I had, um, and I'll be posting the photos a little bit later. And then our final day was yesterday. Uh, this was Saturday. Right, we've got a question from Katie. So when you have these lamb chops and belly pork, did you just have it on its own, nothing with it at all? Yeah, on its own. Yep. Katie, th this is all about carnivore keto. You add a little bit of um, carbohydrates, veg and stuff. But on carnivore, it's zero, zilch. The only thing you can have with it is more fat. Um, and what I was doing, uh, I'm not sure whether my mum was aware or not, but when I was giving her lamb shake, uh, steaks and pork chops I was actually pouring the fat out of the grill pan onto the meat and that was the sauce and again me actually doing it it looked disgusting and the thought of doing it is horrible but nutritionally again you're getting all those naturally occurring fats right Kate is asking about drinks that is on my list we're going to come back to drink in a minute have a bit more of you gin <laughs> okay um so saturday morning so yesterday um i got up early for you guys on facebook and i made those breakfast basically um carb free bread in eggy bread or it also looked like a mcdonald's sausage and egg so that was really filling did you like it no Okay, so it's it, too thick. You the problem is, thick. I made hers a bit too thick, and it was a bit too much pork per egg. Mm. If they're a bit smaller, or if I'd thrown in another egg, it would probably be nice. But when you dipped the pork into the runny egg yolk, yeah, that's nice. it was nice, wasn't it? But you just needed a bit more egg yolk. And again, the secret there: throw on a bit more butter. You know, just give it a bit more consistency. Because mints of any kind, when there's too much of it, it's just hard to swallow mm. isn't it? it almost becomes dry um and then in the evening it's saturday we climaxed on saturday night with a steak so i made rump steak um i also found these prawn things from iceland but we they turned out not to be prawns there was some sort of shredded fish with other crap so mm. i couldn't eat them and my mum just tried a couple and so forget that. But what she did have is a nice big steak with a big slice of blue cheese. Mm. So 
As you know, I've been cutting dairy to improve my weight loss. Uh, I know that my mum, she can't do any of this stuff without cheese. So she needs the cheese just to give it some consistency. So that was my mum's last meal, the steak and the blue cheese. And also you had a bit of blue cheese, didn't you, throughout the week mm. and other cheese. Uh, the other reason she did that is because we needed to use it up. Yeah. <laughs> so we we got stuff going off <laughs> in that fridge and we needed to use it up. So that was another good reason. Um, I did buy for my mum also some double cream, which amazingly you didn't use, did you? We're going to have it today with our rhubarb. Mm. Um, and you also, you weren't keen on sour cream, were you? So for those of you who have sour cream, you know, I love it. It reminds me of nachos. But today I was dipping my chicken thighs into it and just loving life. But she doesn't <laughs> like it. So that were that was my mum's five day meals. And we're now going to go on to drinks. So this is another reason why my mum wasn't doing carnival. Because I know my mum and if I say to her, she can't have coffee, a latte, she can't have tea with milk. She's like, no way am I doing that. So I didn't tell her that I and you guys weren't doing it. But she was having tea, you were having coffee, you were having latte. Latte every day. From Greg's or wherever she has the hot drinks from. And it was fine for you. You didn't feel like you were missing out, were no. you? So, um, and again, the problem with my mum is uh, because she's got a digestional problem, she has to stay away from bread and pasta. However, she loves it. She like it's her favourite food in the whole world. The two <laughs> things that like give her discomfort and really hurt her internally, she loves them. So she can't stop them. So the fact that we've been able to to get rid of this for five days is well, actually no, because she actually had it on Wednesday. <laughs> to get rid of it for four days is an achievement, and this is why she's lost so much weight because literally her internal organs, her digestive system have been detoxing. And she did have toast this morning. And I think <laughs> because you were loving it, you did enjoy it, didn't you? But yeah. before this morning, did you feel any different? No. In oh, a, no, in oh, a good, good way. way. Like last night, did you feel like oh, yeah, when we've been better. walking yeah. or... Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So drink wise, officially on Carnival, you should only be drinking water or black coffee or black tea. You can have some raw milk if you like. Uh, but even my mum doesn't like raw milk. I've tried her with it before. She said it was like supping double cream. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, drinks wise. And obviously no alcohol at all. Um, what I would say about this, guys, if you make a little slip up with a lot of my slimmers did, uh, you know, a few of them like ram chocolate down their mouth one time. Um, some of them were feeling ill, so they just wanted digestive biscuits and toast. So, again, if you do slip up and you do fall for the urge, just think about the 80-20 rule. If 20% of the time you go off carnivore or if you go off keto, it's fine. Just get yourself back on it and you'll still get great results and a great weight loss. Um, so my final two questions for my mum is, um, without going into too much detail, my mum has to run to the toilet sometimes. So this week, how has your digestive system been? Better or worse? Oh, better. Okay, so better. And why do you think that is? Because I won't eat in any crap. <laughs> OK, so and again, just to put into context, that crap being, I think, is bread, bread isn't cakes, it? Yeah. To be honest, you don't really drink. You don't really eat that much pasta, do you? No. It's just bread and cakes, which is the, the main thing. And again, if you Biscuits. take this, if you take this whole picture out, you know, look at the bigger picture. Even if you can't give up bread, it's fine, guys. Just have a little bread. Try mm. and reduce the amount. But, you know, sugar and cakes are the real thing that really do um, harm your digestive system. Because not only have they got the gluten in, they've got the low quality oils in and they've also got the sugar as well. So that is the combination. Those three things that really mess up your digestive system. And finally, sleep. How have you slept this week? Better. 
Great. Longer. Longer. So my mum often wakes up at three in the morning, four in the morning, watch some crap TV. Uh, but she has been sleeping through a few yeah. more hours, haven't you? Yeah. And I've been doing the same, guys. I forgot to mention on my video earlier, my sleep has really, really improved. Um, people might say, again, because you've got like less digestional issues, your body isn't waking you up to go to the toilet. Uh, mm. But the other reason, I believe, is because we've been eating so because we've been eating more protein it's just making us feel satisfied and literally our body isn't waking up saying knock knock it's morning it's time to give some nutrients to your body because your blood sugar is falling low um, so for anybody who does have sleep issues try it tonight guys have a really high protein snack before you sleep or evening meal this evening really high in protein and i promise you the protein will help you sleep. Even if at the moment you're eating, you're sleeping two or three hours, it will just extend it a little bit longer. Anything else you want to say? No, cheers. What is, <laughs> what is your future plans to lose weight? I might do it again, but not next week. <laughs> okay. So as I said, you know, even if you don't want to do this long term or if it's just too hardcore, just improve your protein intake. Mm. That's what carnivore is all about and eating natural. So going yeah. back to lard, going back to whole milk, going back to full fat cheese. Uh, my The tip on actual carnivore is aged cheese. So obviously processed cheese like uh, Baby Bells and Philadelphia. Yeah. This is not aged cheese. So just try to use naturally occurring mature cheese. And like, why is he saying mature? That's like the highest calorie. Uh, and the reason being is because um, mature cheddar, full fat milk, full fat yogurt, full fat everything. The reason it's so good for weight loss is because it tastes so much stronger. Therefore, most people will have less of it. Um, Kate is saying, I've got Chinese restaurant syndrome. I need to sort my digestive system out. Yes, so the biggest problem, unfortunately, with Chinese restaurants is they contain a chemical called MSG. Uh, look it up, guys. It's all over um, the internet and you'll find it's basically a flavour enhancer. A lot of all of the takeaways use it and it's just something to enhance the flavour of the food. It is addictive um, and it is something that can cause strokes. It can cause headaches. It can cause heart attacks. You know, there's so anxiety. There's so many different things that MSG can bring on, including digestive problems and 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 so have a look at msg and that is why uh, chinese takeaway in particular is so bad uh yvonne nui is saying cheers we'll get my <laughs> glass of red yes give a cheers to yvonne this is pink gin uh with berries and slimline tonic um, Katie, it's basically a form of food poisoning from a Chinese <laughs> which puts M M S M MSG, it wrecks your digestive system. Yes, Katie, you're exactly right. Um, there's lots of reasons why MSG has not been um, thrown off the, um, you know, the dangerous ingredients list. One of them being that if you have a tiny little bit, which is what they test in the uh, scientific labs then it doesn't do any harm but obviously if you're having three or four different Chinese meals in one go that is a lot of MSGs and this is why it does cause a lot of reactions. Uh, Katie's been really ill for the last 10 days sorry to hear that Katie but as I said going back to basics as my mum's learned just to to stick to simple food is the great way. And again, let's just have a close up of this wine glass. When you have alcohol, just adding the fresh berries will get that fibre in, just make you feeling a little bit full from something you may think is unnutritional uh, and something that's not going to give you anything any good. But this one is. It's a, it's a healthy gin and tonic. Yeah, only one. Right, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you would like a copy of the Carnivore Plan or if you would like to see my mum's meals, I will be posting them in a little while and I'll be posting my ones uh, where I said I lost £15 in five days. My mum lost £9 in five days. It's all about eating low carbs, trying to eliminate natural 
sugars. Thank you for joining us. Give the video a like, share it if you think your friends will like it. And if you're just joining us now, you can watch the full video over at youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Bye for now. Say cheers. Cheers.